Yeah, sure. When we talk about the industry itself, remember shipping stocks have actually taken a huge knock, being in the mid-cap segment. It's been tremendously weak. Now, the fact here is you have the Baltic Dry Index, which basically is a measure of the freight rate mm -hmm. and an indication as to how they could actually move from here. That index has collapsed from its high of which we've seen in 2008 mm -hmm. around about 11,000 odd levels to around about 1,700 or so. Mm -hmm. But the last one month, in pure percentage terms, it's actually short of 46 to 47 percent. Sure. Basically showing that there's some probably hope coming in that freight rates could actually see an increase. Don't forget you have a couple of domestic companies also that have gone ahead and increased freight rates. Mm -hmm. But the larger question here is, you still have the stocks which have beaten now 37, 38 percent on a year-to-date basis. There is tremendous weakness. The question to ask is, if we are actually seeing any kind of revival coming in mm -hmm. freight rates, because it will actually be a huge impetus to the entire industry that's reading under a lot of pressure, made beyond input, made beyond demand. We've seen the economy also take a hit. Global trade has been on, on the doldrums over the last couple of years. There right. hasn't really been that much. So if any kind of improvement in the freight rates would be a big respite for the shipping industry.